Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. I'm jumping on to pray for you today. That's all I want to do. I want to pray. I want to prophesy over you. This is an interesting time of the year because it feels like it's where things are beginning to be birthed. It feels like where God is renewing hope after such a long time of weariness and people are still tired. They're still weary. They're still feeling like things have been up in the air, but then suddenly there just feels like there's a release. There feels like there's something that's shifting. But in the middle of that, there is this tension that I'm just really sensing. I want to paint that picture for you guys. So I want to pray for you. For those who especially are feeling an intense delay, it's like the enemy's last attempt to really make you feel like it's better just to give up on this just before birth. And I know, I feel like we go through these cycles so much in the body of Christ. It's like the enemy's game plan seems to be the same over and over and over in this particular area. It's like his same playbook, the same tactic that he uses when he wants to discourage us from bringing something to full term. And I want to pray and break that with you. I just feel like I just needed to join my faith with yours today and join with God's faith today just to be like, Lord, this is going to break. 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 So that's what I'm on here to do today is to partner with you. Whatever you're going through today, you come on this live and you're just like, Nate, I'm just facing this today. Maybe you want to Maybe you're brave enough, you want to write it in the comments, like I'm facing this particular thing today. I'm facing that particular thing today. I just want to come and agree with you. I want to see weariness lift off you as well. It's a bit of a different live that I normally do, but I just feel like I need to partner with you today. There's so many you're facing different areas where the enemy's been delaying. He's been delaying certain promises that are meant to come to pass. But more than that, he's trying to bring an extreme weariness and deeper discouragement in a time that you're actually meant to bring something to full term. It's it's the soul sickness. Actually, that if, if I'm going to put it in one kind of term or phrase, I believe it's like that moment that you're meant to bring something forth or see something come to pass. And it's like the enemy brings so much red tape and delay that it makes you feel literally soul sick. If that is you, then this is the life that you're meant to jump on today so I can, I can come in agreement with you and pray. Let me just kind of paint the picture of what the tension is in this season. This is a season when the Lord is saying to you, dream. This is a season the Lord is saying to you, go. This is a season that after a, such a long period of hold up and waiting, right, that there is a, there's a sense that something is breaking forth and you are meant to by faith step into it, but yet you still feel the hold. You still feel feel the hold up, the waiting. You still feel like there's something blocking, but yet you know you're meant to step into it by faith. I want to talk to you about things you can do by faith at the end. If that is you, this is what the Lord is saying to you. Yes, this is a season of go. Yes, this isn't a season of, this is a season of birthing. Yes, this is a season of building. It's a season of 1 Chronicles 17, 2, where Nathan said to David, do all that is in your heart for God is with you. Let me paint that picture for you really clear. That is what the Lord is saying over you today. This is a 1 Chronicles 17 2 season where Nathan said to David, do all that is in your heart for God is with you. The Lord is saying that over you right now. Regardless of what you're seeing around you, this is a do all that is in your heart to do. Let me say that again. I want to break something. Do all that is in your heart to do. Do all that is in your heart to do. Not some, do all that is in your heart to do. Every single thing that God has placed upon your life, the Lord wants you to step into the fully satiated, fully fulfilled season of seeing those things come to pass. This is a season. Let me read another scripture of you guys. You know this one. Okay. Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back, lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes, for you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. Isaiah 54 verse 2. This is a season the Lord is saying, even amidst all of the opposition at your every side, I'm putting inside of you a fight and I'm putting inside of you a longing and almost that there's this actually an anointing you've stepped into to begin to stretch forth. The Lord is putting a fresh wind on those who've been tired and weary. 
And this is the tension. You're feeling the go. You're feeling the build. You're feeling the yes, let's stretch forth. You're feeling the go. You're beginning to dream. You're beginning to actually plot things in the natural. You're beginning to migrate. You're beginning to shift position. You're getting into that new assignment. You're letting go of the old things. You're, you're beginning to restructure your team and the people around you, all those things. And yet there is a blockage. What is going on? The Lord keeps bringing me to Daniel chapter 10. It's where Daniel had a vision. And he prayed. And this is what the Lord said. But the prince of Persia resisted me 21 days. Resisted. What is that? It's a demonic entity, a demonic spirit that came to oppose the very thing. That came to oppose the promise. And held up that angel bringing the promise for 21 days. And then it says, then Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Habakkuk 2 says something interesting. It says, write the vision, make it plain. So a herald may run with it. What is a herald? It's an angel. A herald is an angel that is sent to bring you into the new season. As you speak forth, as you begin to dream with God, you make it plain. So God, this is what you've said over my life. This is what you've told me that I would do. This is the place you've given me. This is the land that you've ordained for me. This is my inheritance. And you write that and you make it plain. And right now we've been in that season where God is wanting us to revision again. He's wanting us to write those things again. After such a long period of time, of even seeing promises not to come to pass and delayed from previous seasons, God's putting a fresh fight in us and a fresh desire to revision with him and we've been writing it out we've been making a plane and heralds have been running but what's been taking place the prince of persia the enemy has been trying to intercept the plans of the of god over your life and trying to hold it up 21 days the prince of persia came to delay the promise but then michael a higher chief prince of angels came to help because he was detained and I feel the Lord saying, I know that you're in this season. I see the tension you've been in between the go and the anointing to go, the fresh release to build. But there is the delay. And I feel the Lord saying, watch as it breaks Habakkuk to you. Read what it says. Though the vision may tarry, because the, the Lord knows that the enemy will try to war and contest the promise. Wait for it, for it shall yet come. Wait for it, for it shall yet come. I was reading a scripture this morning. Actually, I didn't bring it up. But let me quickly see if I can find it. But it's saying about seizing the promise of God. Seizing, seizing, seizing the promise. It's in uh, Hebrews. I think it was in Hebrews 10 about seizing, taking hold of the promise of God. And I feel like right now the Lord's saying, do not let go of what I gave you, though you're in that tension, though you're in that fight, though you're in that war, for it shall yet come. And now let me pray over you right now. Let me pray that the delay is going to break. You guys get ready for this. Put your hands out. Just put your hands out. And I want you to imagine in your hands for a moment. I'm, you can see, look at this. I'm all, I feel the fire of God over me. I'm feeling the anointing on this. I want you guys, to, firstly, before we do this, let's get in a fight mode. Whatever it is that you've been dealing with, Whatever discouragement you broke or that you woke up with today, you're feeling discouraged. I want you to shake it off for a minute. Can you do that with me? Shake it off. Just violently shake that thing off. Say, I'm not going to deal with that anymore. I'm not going to carry that into the rest of my day. Okay? I'm not going to carry that anymore. Shake it off. Shake it off. Just violently shake off. Like that scripture says, cast off your cares. It's a violently shaking and releasing and casting off that thing. Okay? Shake it off. Lord, I, I, I refuse to partner with the delay. I refuse to partner with this confusion and frustration and deep discouragement and soul sickness. I refuse to partner with this thing and to agree with it by giving up. I shall not give up. You know, when you're opposed and you're pressed and you're, you feel like you're in the corner and the enemy has you, this is the time to fight. This is the time to just simply grab out the word of God. I'm telling you something. Don't just hold on to... Internet prophecies, grab the word of God, grab it out and begin to search through it and say, God, what is, what are you saying over my life? Grab those promises that people have spoken over you, those scriptures that have jumped out at you in the darkest nights of your season and say, Lord, I'm holding on to that today. I remember in June of 2013 where you said this, where you spoke this over my life, I'm holding on to it. I'm not letting it go. Where you said this over my family, where you said this over my finances, I believe I believe that there, that there is such 
incredible things that God has for you. I'm just hearing Isaiah 45 verse 3 that the secret, God will show you the secret riches of hidden places so that you know that God has called you by name. I feel like there is provision and secret riches of hidden places that the Lord is storing up and bringing. But this is the thing, God's your provider. God is your provider. Today, get your eyes on Him. Get your eyes on the promise. Put the pressure on the word, not on people, not on situations, not on the place or the door you think it's meant to come through. Put the pressure on the word of God because it is Him and He is faithful. He is faithful today. Get your eyes on the Lord and get your eyes off the problem. Get your eyes off the things. Get your eyes back on the Lord. Did He say it? Is he, a, is he a man that he should lie? No, he will do what he said. Today, get your fight back, people of God. Get your fight back, people of God. You're about to inherit. You are about to inherit. I hear the Lord saying you're about to inherit what you don't even realize. You don't even realize the magnitude of what you're about to inherit. I just see the Lord saying lands about to be released to the body of Christ. We're entering the season of the billion soul harvest. And we're entering the season of the great returning of wealth to the body of Christ. We're about to inherit and occupy lands that the even in the natural, I'm talking in the natural, spiritual and in the natural, but there is land, people on here, you've been held back from the homes and the land and the things that God has had for you. I'm telling you something, no matter what the enemy says, no matter what the enemy is lying to you about today, you will receive your inheritance. You will get what God promised he would give you. Okay, the things that are tied up, the red tape, the Lord is breaking it today. So shake off the weariness, shake off the tiredness, shake off the funk and just say, God, I come into agreement with you today. I feel like God's bringing people out of debt. I believe today that he's saying to you, it's time to get out of that debt. It's time to get out of that place where you were in the red. I, I just, you see, wow, red tape and being in the red, there's something there. The enemy wants to keep you in that place of bondage. And even the mentality and the identity that comes with it because it makes you feel like nothing that God has given you in the kingdom is attainable. It's like in one hand, God's like, go take the nations. And you're like looking at the natural, and you're like, that, is, that could never be for me. I could never do this because I, I'm looking at what's on paper and it says, you cannot get alone. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. And there is this huge disparity between the two. The Lord, grab, grab out a bill right now. Grab out a debt. Grab something that speaks to you, that has been prophesying to you. And it says, debt and it says you can't grab something put it in your hands that's how we're going to do this right now okay that's how we're going to do this we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony we will not love our lives unto death today the blood of jesus is going to speak a better word over you over your situation over your circumstances i've just got a blank bit of paper i just found the girls have been drawing on the on the table i'm going to hold this up as a i'm going to actually i'm going to quickly write on here okay here we go Horrible writing, but you get the point. Debt, red tape, okay? I'm holding this up, okay? Wow. I just hear in the spirit. Wow. I'm hearing this in the spirit. I need to write it. I need to just declare this today. Debt, red tape. But the Lord is saying he's going to flip that thing around. And we are decreeing today, release, release my inheritance in the name of Jesus. Release my inheritance in the name of Jesus. Who's with me? Grab that bill. Grab that thing. Write on a bit of paper right now the thing that is really prophesying negativity to them, the thing most of you right now. Put it in your hand. Put it in your hand. Okay? I right now just want to just, I'm going to cut this in half because we're going to, we're going to rip up the plans of the enemy. We're going to break delay. I'm going to write delay on here as well. Okay, I've got doctors writing. You get it. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we just apply our faith. We come into agreement together. Lord, over every single thing in the natural that the enemy's been trying to do, delay, red tape, bad reports, debts, bills, opposition, red tape, Dogs of doom standing at the door of our destiny. Delay. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. We destroy the plans of the enemy. Every single plan that the enemy has had for us will come to naught now in the name of Jesus. And we just decree and we hold on to and we seize by faith our inheritance and we prophesy. Lord, it is time for the release of inheritance, the release of lands, the release of homes, the release of funds for us to be able to go and do 
the kingdom projects and building that you have for us and we decree it in the mighty name of Jesus today. I just see right now, this thing's being released and loose to people. I just see those who have been feeling, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just have to wait. It's a case of our life. The Lord says, no, today I want you to seize by faith. And I feel like something's just been released and the tables have been turned on the enemy. He's been trying to keep you in that holding pattern and in that place where things are not connecting, where things are not lining up. And today that release has come in the name of Jesus. It is finished, it is done. Lord, we thank you right now that you own the cattle on a thousand hills. You say, gold, the silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord. Today, the release is coming. Today, the release is coming. This week, we're gonna hear the testimonies of the release that has come to the body of Christ. The doors that have been opened where there's been so much witchcraft and warfare that have been against those who've been trying to inherit. You will not miss out on your inheritance, says the Lord. You will inherit. You will see the promise come to pass in the land of the living. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I got. Bless you guys. Have an amazing day. Watch this back if you need to. Share it with someone. Have an incredible day. Bless you guys.